I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh no. Oh god, he's jumping so much, dude. Oh, whoo. Welcome back to another one. We are in some thick grass. Hold on, guys. Welcome back to another one. This is the third video or episode of the Tana Tour. Still out here in Montana, as you can see. Looking beautiful. Got some mountains up there. Got the man, the myth, the woman, the myth, the legend, Lindsay. Okay, Fly God, he's back there giving her a dangle. Or getting ready to give it a dangle. And we parked the taco on the side of the road here because there is a creek down there that we would like to stop and fish. The plan for today is to basically just take it easy, man. We're just gonna drive along this whole river, stop whenever you want to, and fish it. I mean, it's gonna be a day full of fly fishing, camping, and today we wanna keep a fish and eat it. The only fish that you are allowed to keep on this river is brook trout, and brown trout. So we're either doing a brown trout catch, clean, cook, a brook trout catch, clean, and cook, or potentially both. I'm looking forward to putting some trout in my mouth. I know these guys are looking forward to it. We may eat it for lunch, or depending on when we catch it, we may eat it for dinner because you kind of want to catch the fish and cook it right away just so the meat is nice and fresh. Obviously, you, we can't even see the river. It's way down there, and like we just see the road here. Luckily, when we were driving, Jared was looking at the OnX app when we stopped and just kind of like we're scrolling through and like, hey, let's fish this. He was marking waypoints. We even were like, hey, I don't know how far this walk is down there. Let's let's see how far the walk is. He can make pins and see exactly how far we need to walk. So right here in particular, we have like a 500 yard walk. We would not have known that without OnX. I do believe it's time now to get all rigged up and start walking because I need some trout. Yes, Ugh. you're killing it. It's really cold. I know, I don't. Like I'm freezing right now. Okay. Woo Good job, you made it. Well, we made it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, we made it. And this water is cold. Woo, man. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm numb right now at this point. My feet are numb, like an ice bath numb. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. 360 here, ooh. But now, we're just gonna walk around, look for some deeper pockets, and maybe just some weird looking current stuff, some brush, and just kind of toss in the old fly rod and see if we can do some work. Good. Uh-oh, she picked up a fly rod today. It's probably about good. You got it. I believe in you. I'm gonna walk past you and get hella clear from you though. All right, I'm gonna go down here and try fishing a little bit of this stuff over here. I mean, look how awesome this is, dude. Just like little micro creek. It's pretty crazy. We got some dry flies on here. Oh yeah, you're rocking the old purple haze and PMD again. All right, I got purple haze on. You know when you're using a lure called purple haze? You're about to just absolutely clap them. Yeah, so right now we have like a little deeper run right here. And you see the little foam that's in the water? Jared taught me that foam is home. I don't know why, but like if you cast by the foam, that's like where all the trout like to eat, like, I don't know, random stuff floating down. Is that kind of right? Foam is home. So we're just gonna fish this little foam for a second. <laughs> I feel like if there was a, a fish though. Oh, that was a really good cast. I'm raining that foam, dog. Oh yeah, I know. If there was a fish there, you guys would have caught, caught him already. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. There we go. I want to try a little farther out there. How are you feeling about this? Yeah, the hell out of it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looked pretty good. Foam is home, letting it float. Yeah, I see it. I'm right in the foam. Yep, I see it. I feel like I'm in the juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a little nippy. That's where I wanted to get. I don't know. 
All right, spot number one. Not a lot of fishies here, so we're gonna climb up, up this mountain right there and back to the truck and off we go to the next spot. Well, folks, we actually decided to stop for some lunch. Spot number one, spot number two are rough, man. Like, we have not been able to capitalize on any fish. We haven't seen any fish rise yet. And for those of you that don't know what rise means, basically it means like a fish hit top water, like a little bug or something like that. So we decided to stop for some lunch right by the river. As you can see, the river's getting a dangle right there. And then we have a nice little bridge. And this is where we pulled off right here. The taco looking nice and succulent. Lindsay's cracking beers. And this it's a good day. How do you, how do you feel about it? It. Fish on. <laughs> Jeremy Wade. So yeah, we're stopping for the lunch break. We got the cooler right there, raft right there, and some shade over there where we're gonna go and eat. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna do a little luncheon right here. And the river is literally right there. Just in the Montana mountains, living living the best life. That was unnecessary. Alright, little Sammy break here. We got these Five star buns that are actually really good. I was gonna get like the cheap Wonder Bread. These have been clutch. Yeah, these guys are like, no, we're getting the handmade Missoula bakery bread. Like, I'm, I'm not mad about it. No, you should I'm not mad about it. Mm -hmm. We got a little salami action. We got some turkey. We're just gonna you just put chips get on it there. on there. I need to put some chips on there. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of chip ejections on there, like Lindsay was saying. Mm -hmm. Then we get ourselves some pepper jack cheese. Oh man. That's good. I thought you were time lapsing. I get a little content here. I'm just like talking. People are going to be sick of watching you eat. No, they're not. Dude, there's no way. Oh, all right. It's a bad day to be a fish. Got some lunch, rejuvenated. It's a bad day to be a trout. I'm ready for it. <whistles> yeah, this is some bigger water here, folks. Um, you should stand right on this rock and fish right behind that big rock. Okay. Oh, I see, where, that, where it's like a yep. little bit of slack water. Money. Trying. Look, see, I got nipped. I got one. Woo! We got something. I don't know what it is. It's tiny. I'm gonna go cutty. Yeah, dude, that orange, yeah. that orange right there. Oh, that's a tiny little guy. <laughs> I knew I was getting bit inside there. Yeah, that is a what tiny. What the heck? All right, first fish of the day. I mean, we needed. Yeah, we needed to just get on the board. We needed just to get on the board here. Bye. See ya. <laughs> All right, first fish done, but that was too small to keep. Oh. <laughs> too small to keep, and we can't keep too those. Much of a cutthroat. Yeah, so we gotta find some browns here. I, I think we can make it happen, though. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. That looks fire, dude. Ooh. Got one. Yeah. Woo, little guy. A little guy. Oh, yeah. This is, oh, wow. I mean, like, I mean the tiniest of tiny. Oh, yeah. This thing is like, I'll bring it over for you guys to look at. This thing is tiny, dude. Beautiful, though. Oh, I just got off. That's good. That's good. It was so small. It was like this big. Yeah, I just came off the this little rock here. It's creating a little pool. And one was sitting right there. Oh. 
All right, we're, we're gonna call a power move here. We're actually gonna go find a place to camp tonight and then fish during the later hours when it's really good. So right now we're leaving where we're at right now and we're gonna go find a spot to camp. But not a complete bust at this spot. Caught, I think I caught one. Yeah, I caught one and saw a couple, but fishing's been tough, man. It's been tough today. As you guys can tell, I'm getting a lot faster at setting up this rooftop tent. Looks pretty good. Not, I didn't do too bad on it. It was a little bit hard finding like a really even spot. And this is the best that we could find. So there she be right there. Got a nice little rooftop tent set up. Got the mountains right there. Lindsay walking with a spinning rod. And then our campsite actually goes way back here. It just wasn't accessible with my truck. So Big Jerry Bear is going to be camping back here in the woods. Oh yeah. I mean... This looks good. Yeah, not not a bad little setup, you know? It's gonna be a good sleep after we catch these brown trout. Yeah, I was gonna say, up. cause the best part about this spot is the river is literally right there. And you said you went down there, saw a few saw, fish saw rise. Saw two fish rising already while uh, John was setting up the CVT. So, let's see what happens. All right, you heard the mans. I'm getting hungry. I think we need to catch some trout to cook tonight. So, wish us luck. Oh, damn. Yeah, this definitely looks dope back here. Whoo, doggy, we made it here. It is cold. This water is cold. Literally, you saw our campgrounds right there. I mean, check out the view, bro. Check out the freaking view. This is this is too golden. I'm loving every second of this. We're gonna see if we catch some trout and we're busting like right over here. So, Jerry Bear, catch me dinner. I don't know, man. Just as confused as me. Yeah, really am. Because I don't even really see that much floating on the water. No, like I can't not, tell what, like what it is. Hey, let's see how this one works. All right, new flies. These trout are being sons of guns. We see them rising right here, but they ain't eating our flies. So I don't know. We're gonna try something different. I just saw one rise right where I just cast it. Come on. Oh. God, it's so... He, he busted right next to my bait. No. He busted right by my bait. That was a big trout. Dude, that was a big, that was a pretty big trout. What? No, no, it was like a little bit bigger than the last brown that you caught last night. Yeah. Like, which is a pretty good fish. Yeah, that's. And it, the thing was, I was floating and it bit something completely different behind my bait. Close to it though? I mean, yeah, I was kind of, kind of close-ish, but it was, I was just like, God. <laughs> just gonna keep going through the arsenal until we find something that works. Yep. Man, these trout are just. Ah! Oh, see, you just did it again. Well, then keep it out of there. Honestly, it kind of looked like a cutthroat, though. I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh no, oh god, he's jumping so much, dude. Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, dude. So I'm palming right now. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I'm scared, I'm so scared right now. He, he is running like a mother, dude. Oh my god, just let him run. 
fight them. You got them. And you can tighten this drag down a little bit too. Okay. There you go. Oh my God, he he came out and absolutely nailed me, dude. Dude, this feels like a big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm so scared, Dad. It's been so hard to catch fish today, and we've been switching rigs, trying new spots, and finally, some fish came up and absolutely whacked me, dude. I have no clue what this is, but it whacked me hard. Oh, my heart's racing so much. Oh man, what is it? A rainbow. A rainbow? No! Oh, I wanted to eat something, but oh man. Wow, that's honestly. Wow. He hit the caddis. Oh my, dude. All right, well, it's been a struggle all day today, and we've pulled up on this last spot right by our campsite, as I was vlogging before. We're seeing fish like rise the whole night. Couldn't get any of them to bite. We kept switching through flies. My, Jared is just a man. He's like, try this one, try this one, try this one. Giving me new rods left and right. Third cast in with like the caddis, you said? Yeah, elk hair caddis. The caddis caught a, my first ever rainbow on a fly rod by myself, like independently. That's like decently sized, I would say. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's good trout for sure. Oh man. I mean, put up a good fight. Like, as you guys can see there, super, super beautiful fish. And I mean, unfortunately you cannot keep rainbows in this river that we're at. So we cannot catch clean cook it. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I wanted to catch clean cook something. We still got time. We still have time. Something may happen here. All right, time to let my beautiful rainbow go. Just absolutely gorgeous fish. Oh man. Just look at the colors on that thing. The, the dots, like absolutely insane. See you later, Bubba. <sighs> Thank you, Jared, that very boy. much. That that made the trip like worth it right there, yeah. catching that. But I want to hopefully catch something oh, yeah. today to put in our mouth. Ooh. I'm on, I'm on, You're on, I'm on. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking in the right spot, dude. I thought I had a, like, my fly was downstream more. Ah, dude, that's a good fish. I know, I know. He's staying down, that's a he good is. sign. I think it is a good fish, dude. Oh, dude, that was, that was sick. It feels good. It's a good fish. It feels good, whatever it is. I'm just gonna walk backwards. Nope. Rainbow? Rainbow, baby. Gosh dang it, dude. It's a sweet looking f r cut bow. Uh, wait, what? It's a cut bow. Still can't it's eat it. It's a cut bow. It's a cut bow. Oh, dude. Well, another species. Another species for sure. Oh, okay, folks. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was a little embarrassing. I came down here and ventured on myself. And I was casting. I was watching what I thought was my fly, but it wasn't my fly. I saw a rainbow, well, this is actually a cut bow, destroy something top arm. I was like, oh, damn, that would have been sick if that would have been my, my lure. But then I felt weight and I was like, oh, oh, that's definitely my lure. So we <laughs> got ourselves a nice cut bow. This is a cross between a rainbow and a cutthroat. So as you can see, that is a cut bow. So you can see the, the pink gill plate, that's super distinct of a rainbow. As well as like the top spots. top spots, there's just a lot more of them yeah. than a cutthroat oh, will typically right have. Yeah, along with the pink stripe, kind oh. of on the, the bottom. Really, the cut on the bottom of the throat is the only thing real cutthroat like, and kind of the blue eye. But Dang. rainbows will get that once in a while too. My goodness, one last beautiful fish right there. Oh yeah, beautiful dude. cutty. Well, bow cut, whatever you call it. Cut bow. Cut bow. <laughs> oh, he's yeah, lucky he's buddy. not a brown though. He's <laughs> I know, lucky. I know. Oh, those fight so good. It like, is. honestly, I would compare it close to a bass. Like, there's head shakes and in the river too when it's going that way. Like, it feels so heavy. And fly rods right? are just lighter, man. Like, yeah. the, the the tip sections of fly rods just 
They True. bend way more True. than your typical spinning rod. Ah. Well, we're, we're gonna keep going at it. Obviously, this is prime time, so yep. hopefully we can get something to eat. Oh my goodness, all right. Well, we actually are gonna take a break from that gas spot just because maybe they're getting kind of used to our flies. We were tossing in there so much, so we're actually gonna start making dinner. It was like such a grind today and catching those fish made it all worth it. Driving here, all worth it. Those fish were beautiful. And like, it's just so cool catching fish in like a dope place like this. You don't see this in South Dakota or Minnesota at all. So very cool. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're doing three things. Asparagus, chicken, and potatoes. It was supposed to be fish, but rip. We got the asparagus right there. Lindsay, got that dialed, thank you very much. Right here, we have the potatoes. They're all diced up and stuff. You'll see them a little bit, but we're gonna put these guys on that fire over there that Jared just made. Then we got, we gotta come over here, and I know we got some chicken in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there she be. The eggs are just drenched. That's great for it. Ah, yep. There we go. We got some lovely chicken breasts right there, and they're gonna go on the grill. Damn, boys. I mean, we haven't been catching the most. Tri okay, I take the back. You're we catching fish today. We've been eating hella good on this trip. I mean, if there's one thing that we've been doing right, it's been eating well. Lindsay, how how is the the meal so far? It's fantastic. Jerry Bear, you killing it over there? I could have done better with the asparagus and potatoes on the fire, but I mean, it's still like a seven and a half out of 10 for oh, sure. Oh yeah, I mean, that just looks yeah. like pleasing yeah. though, aesthetically pleasing. Oh, it's, it's so good. Oh, that chicken is delicious. Good char. Let me stick some. No oh, man, asparagus, you killed it. I think asparagus is good. Tails are good. Put some cheese on there, some ketchup. Mmm, I'm about to have me a meal. Whew, all right, folks, it's time for bed. We are all tuckered out, and I'll show the cam set real quick. Got the raft chilling right there. Got the truck. Got Lindsay's up there with the lights on, and Jared's over there giving a dangle. You can't even see it. You can, honestly can't even see over there, but we put out the fire as well. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Looks nice in here. It's freaking hard to get situated in here i know you're killing it though this is unfortunately our last night here during this tanner tour and I'll, i'm still taking it in i mean i'm looking at a mountain right now as we speak and i hear the river and earth slash creek just ripping behind me like you don't get this at home you don't get the trot at home you don't get the views at home like this is just this is awesome so if you guys are debating like whether you should go out and do something whether it's travel or you know anything i i 100 suggest like get out there for sure do something just because you're gonna miss out man you're gonna miss out unless you go out and do it but i am getting super tired and it is time for bed so i will see you guys tomorrow morning and hopefully a bear does not eat us Meal number, I lost count. Today we got eggs, peppers, onions, ketchup, potatoes, turkey bacon. Not a bad breakfast. How's the turkey bacon? It's really good. 
Jared, I feel like people are gonna think like, dude, all they did on this trip was just eat. What do you no. what do you have to say about that? Uh, well, <laughs> well, I have to say that my trout fishing locations could have been better on the week for sure. Oh, stop. Uh, but that's fishing, you know? Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. We still, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna hit a couple more, and then, uh, you know, John will have to come back out with, uh, with Slayman. Oh God, and yeah. And have to put the rope show on. That's true, that's true. I know Sam wishes he was here. He's a big trout guy, big fly fishing guy. If he was here, he would have caught 10 times more of the fish. So I am sorry about that, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast and get back out there. We'll see what happens. We got a lot of stuff to do today because we are actually leaving today too. Unfortunately, it's our last day. So we're gonna finish this meal and then we'll see what happens. All right, we're ready. The last send. Ready to get her done, huh? I am ready. Just got done eating that delicious breakfast. I'm ready to smash some fish. At this point, I don't really care if it's brown or not. I just want to catch something. If it's a brown though, I'm tempted to throw it in hey, the grease. Got two nice fish. I know. Uh, actually, I think the mission today, this morning, is you to catch a fish. Oh God, that's a lot of pressure. If you catch a fish, that would just top it off. Okay. On the fly rod, of course. I want you to cast here, Lindsay. I mean, I know you're gonna get wet, but I feel like that's the best spot for you to catch a fish. Like right as soon as you started to cast, he came up for it. Oh yes, yes, you got oh. him. Oh. Keep him oh. on. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep, keep it tight, Lindsay. Keep it tight, Lindsay. Keep the rod tip up. Rod tip up. Nice. Guys. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Yep. Lindsay's right hooked up. Yeah. Good job, Lindsay. Oh yeah. Nice. See that those <laughs> extra four inches of waiting made it worth it. up and bring your rod tip up and try to get him to the surface got it yes oh! yes yes i'm so happy right now that was rad that was all on camera too i'm sure got your uh the one i just tied on that ant pop him out here all right Lindsay, what happened i don't know so, so don't know. <laughs> she the cast right before that she made a perfect cast out there went right over where the fish was rising and she like pulled her cast up or her drift up to recast and the fish came up for it and then she put it out there again and it just smashed her. Lindsay, congrats on the fly rod. <laughs> You're, that's your first ever probably rainbow ever too, huh? First ever fish on a fly rod ever. Yeah, wow, good job. No more ever, oh one so just rose right there. They're popping right now. Yeah, they are. Dude, that's yes! bad. You killed it. <laughs> well, there you have it. Lindsay cracked her first ever fish on the fly rod. This whole trip, she's been trying to learn how to do it. And I've been watching her. She's been going so hard. And like, she's been making perfect cast after perfect cast and hasn't been getting any blow up. So to see her catch that fish and see the satisfaction of her hard work finally come together, that was really cool to watch. So congrats, Lindsay. Well, unfortunately, that is where we're going to end today's video. We just got done packing up our campsite, and basically all we're doing right now is just driving back to Missoula, dropping off Jared, and me and Lindsay have another 14 and a half hour drive home. Rip. But just wanna say huge, huge shout out to Onyx for sponsoring this trip, as well as Jared, he actually he works there if you guys didn't know, for taking us around and showing his spots and let alone teaching me and Lindsay the ropes of Montana, how to fish, how to camp. Like I learned so much and I'm definitely gonna wanna come back and do some more fly fishing or go somewhere else and do some more fly fishing because I'm definitely addicted right now. We wanted to get a catch clean cook, but unfortunately you like really can't keep that much around here. You can only keep two types of fish and we are not able to get that. But maybe next time we come back, we can do it. 
I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see me do more camping trips or more just sends in random places, drop comments down below and let me know where you want to see me, Lindsay, maybe meet up with Jared or Slayman. Like, drop comments down below and give us some ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. We'll see you guys next time.